Willie Geist, uh, here in London, obviously a lot of people very concerned about the prospects of a President Trump as they are across every country in Europe other than Russia. And when you hear Donald Trump once again saying that a dictator that assassinates journalists who disagree with him, that assassinates political players that get in his way, that assassinate oligarchs or gel oligarchs that don't fit his political uh, uh, his political plans, and you have Donald Trump comparing that man to Barack Obama, it's got to be shocking even for uh, rank-and-file Republicans. And comparing him favorably to Barack Obama, saying he's a much better leader oh, than our own better. president. Whatever your politics are in this country, you may not like President Obama, but that's a pretty outrageous statement to make. As for last night, Joe, I, I don't think the state of play changed much. I don't think we learned that much about either of the candidates. Hillary Clinton having to answer email questions again at the top. And then Donald Trump, in addition to what you said about Putin, he, his saying, if Putin says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. That's a bit of a scary prospect too if you can be so seduced by someone saying nice things about you that you're willing to play ball with someone like that. The comment about the generals and again Donald Trump saying that he was against the Iraq war from the beginning citing an Esquire article that came out after the beginning of the Iraq war. He was not against the Iraq war.